Welcome back, everyone. Next Sunday, a team of runners will be racing in the Carlsbad Marathon to raise money for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation to help find a cure for this debilitating disease. It is just one of the many ways San Diegans can get involved with this worthy cause. Joining us this morning are the Darwells, a San Diego family with two boys, Rio and Thor. That's Rio there and Thor here. Both boys born with cystic fibrosis. Uh, John Hi, and yeah. Kelly are the parents. And uh, little Jade over there is a carrier. Is that right? That's a right. carrier of cystic fibrosis. Doesn't actually have it. Welcome, first of all, to the show. Uh, now, I know, here. I know, Rio, you're dying to talk, but let's talk to your dad for just a moment Hi. first, okay? <laughs> Tell us uh, how this affects a, a family. I mean, it's something you deal with nonstop. Well, um, you know, uh, things are a lot better now than they were in the old days. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, the life expectancy of someone with cystic fibrosis is in the 30s. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know right away that uh, your kids are, you know, probably not looking at a long road. Um, but, but again, that's up, you know, that's up twice you know it's it's you know two times higher than it was when we were kids you sure. know uh, so our generation we would have probably been almost you know halfway done with our life and hopefully so, they're enjoying seeing themselves on TV <laughs> and another hopefully the the deal is another 10 years maybe life expectancy will, will double right? right and the the work of the foundation is so crucial for that um, you know like I say if you if you're ever interested in donating to a worthy cause here's a co here's a cause that uh, or an organization that has had a huge impact when you think of you know um, if I was born with cystic fibrosis, yeah. at his age, I would have been over half of my life probably. Yeah. And now yeah. he can look forward how to is, how He's is nine years old. He's nine. Okay. Now, your two sons have it. Your daughter is a carrier. Explain the difference. Okay. So what it is is... Um, oh, wait a minute. Know. Wait a minute. Rio wants to explain the difference. Um, okay. A carrier is like someone that if they, make, if they marry another carrier, mm -hmm. they have a good chance of having a CF kid. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have CF, then you, well, you have the disease. And yeah. R it's sort of like a brown-eyed uh, person can carry a blue-eyed gene. Right. Um, so two, two people with brown eyes could potentially have a child that has blue eyes. A much higher chance than of, of her passing on cystic yeah. fibrosis. Right. Um, you know, there's a one in, uh, one in four chance that she'll, or, you know, if she, if she got uh, together with another person who was a carrier, there's a one in four chance that uh, they could have a cystic fibrosis yeah. kid. Rio, you are just busting out. You want to talk here. Let's, th let's talk about how, what does your day consist of? Why, why are you different than other children who don't have cystic Well, fibrosis? I have to take a lot of medicines mm -hmm. in the morning. I wake up at about 5.45 to do my... Why don't you talk about some of these medicines? Well, I mean, where, in, where in brief. Well, well, I do okay. my vest in, like, oh. early in the morning. I think we I... have a picture. Do we have a picture of, of uh, Rio in a vest? There. Is that it right there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Talk about that a little bit. What is that? Well, well what you do is you, put, you do that, and um, it, like, vibrates, and mm -hmm. um, it... Like loosens the mucus, and then once you do the first ten minutes, you do a huff cough, and you're like, <sighs> and then the um, the mucus will come out if mm -hmm. you do it good enough, and then you then you do it again, and for another ten minutes, and then at the end you do it again. Yeah, does it hurt? No, it doesn't. It's no? just a little vibration. You're just used to it. You do it every day. Yep. Every day of your life. Well. We yeah. try to do it every Yeah, time. okay. <laughs> now, all these medicines here, too, you're, you're, I'm, you're taking medicines all the time as well? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and then after I do my vest in the morning, right. I do my albuterol, which is also sort of like loose, loosens up inhaler. the mucus. Mm -hmm. An inhaler? inhaler, yeah. Okay. So it's like asthma all the time is is it I mean can you compare it to that or um, sort of I mean you know the, there's definitely the pulmonary aspect to it um, but it's it's different because uh, you know um, what happens with people with cystic fibrosis is their lungs progressively their pulmonary function gets worse and worse over the course of their life um, with asthma you know it's it's much easier to control you know you have some inhalers and and so there is a similarity with some of the drugs for for the bronchial um, you know, constriction and stuff like that to help right. the airway clearance with the mucus and all that. But uh, it's not really much the same. I have asthma. It's really not. Yeah, not and, the same. and a lot of people don't know a whole lot about it, obviously. They call it a terminal disease, yeah. which means you aren't going to live a full life. But as you said, these uh, hopefully both of these young men will live at least into their 30s right now. And perhaps right. by the time they get there, much, much longer? Uh, yeah. Um, well, like I say, you know, from in one generation, the life expectancy has gone up by a factor of two. Yeah. So. You know, by the time they get to be our age, hopefully, you know, people will be living into their 50s and 60s. So. Mm -hmm. What about this uh, uh, telethon coming up next week? It's going, it's going to help as well, right? So oh, yeah, so that's, that's a fundraiser for the foundation, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. They're having a, um, uh, a run, um, fundraising run. 
And uh, I think one of your producers is actually involved yes, in that. Yes, she is, Simone. And, uh, and so thanks to Simone. Shout yeah. out to Simone. But anyway, uh, the, the foundation has, you know, numerous fundraisers all throughout the year. Um, you know, CFF.org, as they're showing right now, it's a great great organization. It's really the only organization out there today that's doing research for cystic fibrosis and, uh, you know, for your, bang for your buck as far as fund, uh, you know, uh, uh, charitable giving, uh, right. 90%, okay. 90%, 90 percent, 90 percent, 99 cents of every dime. Go Rio, ahead. you help out a lot in fundraisers too, don't you? Yeah. You are actively involved. I can see you're actively involved in a lot of things. Uh -huh. How do you do that? How do you, how do you help out? Well, you usually you go up to like someone like you know and you say, well, I'm running, we're doing this walk or whatever fundraiser you're mm -hmm. doing, and you'll say, can you please donate some money to this disease that me and my little brother Thor have? And um, then yeah. sometimes they'll give like $5, $10, sure. $15, and they'll add up, you know? Sometimes well, someone will pull 50 bucks out of their wallet, man. The, the generosity of people is astounding. It's really it is amazing. worth it to see the smiles on these faces. They're amazing. You're a very happy family. You can tell that. Kelly, we didn't want to leave you out of there, but we know you're very emotional about this. <laughs> so we weren't going to make you talk, but we appreciate you coming out and, and, and being with us today. All of you, thank you so much and best of luck. You guys go get them, all right? Man, you Thanks are lot, one energy-filled family. Okay. <laughs> Still ahead this morning, she was trying to stick up for her little boy.